With us today we have Dr. Gerrit Berkholt, Head of Treasury Operations and Digital Treasury at Deutsche Bank. Gerrit has been in the role since 2008 and has been driving digital transformation within the Treasury Department. And for those who don't know, the Deutsche Bahn is one of the largest railway operator and infrastructure owner in Europe. Gerrit, can you introduce yourself and give us some background on your experience and role with Deutsche Bahn? Okay. Hello, my name is Gerd Berkhardt. Um, from the background, I'm a mathematician and I was, uh, after studying and doing my PhD, I was working as a consultant, first with Arthur Anderson, then with Ernst Young, and last but not least with Define, uh, I would say the largest German consulting company for risk management. And after that, uh, I'm working now for, I would say, more than 10 years for Deutsche Bahn. My role is I'm heading the treasury operations. This is, if you think in terms of a bank, the middle and the back office of the um, more or less bank within Deutsche Bahn, of the treasury department. And on the other hand, I'm heading the digital treasury project. And this is a digitalization project. And... Um, it's fun and it's just an accident because today we won the Innovation Award of the European Treasury Council. Great. So uh, the first question for you would be, what have been the biggest concerns and challenges in liquidity management during the crisis? I mean, um, I would say first, of course, is uh, transparency. I mean, because uh, during Corona crisis, um, liquidity was really the big point for Deutsche Bahn AG. Because I mean, Deutsche Bahn AG was highly affected by the Corona crisis because, of course, we are a, a transport company, of course. So, I mean, first thing was to get transparency about liquidity, and for that we have implemented a, a, a trash board. A dashboard, a treasury dashboard, which is is more or less um, ha has actual data on a daily basis. On the, on the other hand, of course, we had a lack of liquidity, and in the past, we were financed more or less by commercial paper programs, and on the other hand, by by issuing bonds. But during Corona crisis, we 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 needed something more flexible and with respect to that we started to to um, uh, uh, use bridge loans to have a more flexible instrument for financing this was a new thing for us okay interesting uh, and for example how did financial institutions perform in helping you manage your liquidity and maybe what were the most useful and appreciated solutions and instruments from your side? I mean, in, in fact, I mean, the, the nice thing was that we were able to set up this bridge loan <laughs> business in a re relatively short term period. And there the support from the banks was really highly appreciated from our side. I think this was really very good support from the bank side. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. And uh, how much governmental support did uh, Deutsche Bahn receive in all its various forms during the pandemic crisis? And uh, if any, and how uh, beneficial was it for your liquidity needs? Yeah, I mean this. This is this is really connected to the, to the bridge loan business because for sure it's it's for sure we were supported and we will be supported by the German government. But of course, everything is due to e European regulation. Means that it's not that easy as a government to support the company because I mean you don't want to have a disadvantage compared to to other companies from from uh, other countries. That's the reason why it takes a long time until we receive uh, money from the government. So and to 
to bridge that, we use the bridge loans. That's also why it's, we call it bridge loan. Okay. It's Understood. a flexible in instrument to get the time until we will receive money from the government. But for us, it's very important. Mm -hmm. And do you think something uh, could be done uh, like better uh, from the governmental side or something that you needed but didn't receive? Yeah, I mean, I mean, it's a problem of time. I mean, uh, the only thing, it's a question of time. I mean, of course, I mean, we, we are very glad to have, I mean, the perspective to receive money from, I mean, it's we receive the money from the government, but in fact, we receive money from the society. So, I mean, and we are very glad, I, I mean, but, but, I mean, problem is that, of course, it's an extremely time-consuming process because a lot of a lot of stuff has to be proved. I mean, of course, it's correct because, I mean, it's the money of the society, of course. And, I mean, but, but at the end, I mean, of course, it would be better for both sides if the process would proceed faster. Okay, I understand. Uh, can you please tell me what are your greatest goals and priorities for increased uh, treasury digitalization? And maybe what uh, were uh, the greatest challenges for meeting the targets? I mean, I would say uh, we have done a lot of a lot of stuff connected to to digitalization. I mean, that's why we won the innovation uh, 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 prize. We have implemented robotic solutions, we've implemented a dashboard based on business intelligence, we have a web crawler, we have a mail board, we have a, a process mining solutions. What is still a, a thing and we are really working and it is, has now top, top priority is to get um, rid of all really paper based processes. This has a connection uh, to electronic signature, but on the other hand has a connection to workflow tools or for example to something like it's called Power Platform. It's a, a tool where you can program and define your own workflows. And I mean for us the perspective, I mean besides the li liquidity aspect, I mean one top priority due to Corona is the liquidity aspect. The other top priority for sure is at least at the end of the next year, we want to get rid of all paper-based processes. I think this top priority too. And this is, of course, also somehow complicated. It's not complicated with respect to technology. A lot of technologies are around and they are working and here we have carried out a lot of proof of concepts already, but it's a, it's a problem due to internal regulation of Deutsche Bahn AG because we have to deal with the work councils, we have to deal with the data security committees and stuff like that. And, and this is more or less comparable to getting money from the government. <laughs> Things are not really dynamic. Okay, I understand. Well, thank you for your time today, Garrett. Uh, we look forward to hearing from you on the 6th and 7th of September for what is sure to be two days of excellent presentations and insightful discussions. So thank you very much. Okay, thanks. Bye. Bye.